Dear Supply Chain Finance Competition Committee, my name is Jia Qi Lu. Our team is Columbia Go, and we're from Columbia Business School in the U.S. In the competition, I was playing the sales manager role. The goal of my role was to generate the highest revenue by negotiating service level, order deadlines, payment instruments and terms with customers, and doing category management. However, in order to maximize our rate on investment as a team, I also need to consider the impact of my decisions on other roles. At first, I tried to offer the best deal possible to the customer to maximize our contract index, so the revenue per unit was maximized. However, it turned out to be not the optimal strategy. The first problem was that as I extended the payment term for the customers, the credit balance also increased faster. As a result, the credit limit cut more heavily on their potential demand, and the revenue did not go up as we thought. Since we did not anticipate the ne negative impact of our decisions on our demand, um, they incurred lots of unnecessary costs on the supply chain side. To tackle this problem, our finance manager tried to increase the credit limit at the lowest financial cost possible. However, the second problem came up after this change was made. Although revenue has increased, this was achieved at the cost of large receivables and scarce cash. Because customers were encouraged to pay in a really lagging manner, which was intended for a high contract index. At the end of the day, the cost of emergency loan was high, and even though profit has increased a lot, it still could not make up for the huge denominator caused by the large volume of receivable. After that, I tried to quantify the trade-off between increasing credit balance and its impact on increasing receivables. From the components of the asset, I concluded that if I increase the customer's total credit balance by 1,000 euros, the total profit should go up by at least approximately 750 euros to compensate. Then I used historical records to study different product margin and decided to eliminate quote condition because it was not generating enough margin to cover the expected operating and financial expense. At last, based on different customers' credit rating and money collection difficulty, I modified their payment instruments and payment terms accordingly, such that the overall impact on ROI is still positive. From the previous round, I think quantitative analysis after breaking down the components of ROI's numerator and denominator would be necessary. If I could have the chance to play again the final, I would do more analysis on the INCO terms, such as how to balance between distribution cost and contract index. I would also focus more on the impact of demand volatility on ROI. I believe choosing proper credit limits and payment terms could cut off demand peaks, thus control demand volatility. However, I should also justify the final ROI for the reduced revenue from cutting the demand. So these are the problems and future expectations I have for this competition. I hope we can make it to the final. Thank you very much for listening.